Ladies and gentlemen. My name is Paul Heyman. Yes, we know. For the reigning, defending, undisputed, universal heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> every time this happens, like, he would say that every single week. In my head. <sighs> Let's. Oh, oh, we shall, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, we shall, you fool. Right here, on Monday Night Raw, in front of a global television audience, Finn Balor. <sighs> Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar. I'm excited for that. Everybody loves Finn Balor. I think I'm gonna wear his shirt at the Warrior Rumble pay-per-view <laughs> live stream. Mm. Yep. Had the rights to face Brock Lesnar for the Universal title at the Royal Rumble. Well, so much so that John Cena, the second greatest I uh, uh no no no. In his hands and John Cena is the greatest of all time, people. Shows good sportsmanship. He's still the same John Cena, hey man. And he should. So much so that the entire WWE universe has now stood up in unison and declared we believe in Finn Balor. Because Finn Balor never lost the Universal title due to shoulder injury. People should. remember that. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe in Finn Balor too. This is like Roman Reigns in 2015 when he was about to face Brock Lesnar for the first time. It's like, I can, I will. Some people don't believe him, but some do. Got a Roman Reigns supporter all the way. I'm not going to get to that now. That he will show up this Sunday at Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona and do the very same thing, capitalizing on fate and circumstances having a match not just any match a title match not just any title match a title match for the universal heavyweight championship against a champion that was ready and trained to fight braun Strowman. then where were you for the past few lester won't be fighting the petulant controversial temperamental monster braun Strowman this <laughs> sunday no because of that coward Baron Corbett. Should we know? How should we know that? But mine is the voice that martyrs. Martyrs? And this Sunday. What do you have? An English accent? Or British? Martyrs. Or matters? Brock Lesnar will turn Finn Balor into a martyr. Oh, a martyr. Oh, oh, I get it. I thought he said, like, matters. You believe that he can conquer the unconquerable conqueror. Sacrifice for the sin of believing he's 
He's got what it takes to take what Brock's got. This is sacrifice for the sin of believing that when it comes to the historic title reign of Brock Lesnar, that Finn Balor is the slim reaper. This is who like will slay the beast. Sacrifice or the Goliath. The sin of being an ordinary man that can pull off extraordinary miracles. This is like the WWE version children, of David and Goliath. Or David. David and Goliath? Edition, yeah, I remember uh, Christian Girl myself. I know Christian stories. Even miracles fear Brock Lesnar. I mean, what fears Brock Lesnar? This Sunday night at Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view event when my client Brock Lesnar puts to bed this ridiculous notion that Finn Balor even belongs in the ring with the Beast. It will be Finn Balor on his back, looking up and saying, Oh my God, I believe in Brock Lester. You know, you're putting up that Christian reference and you're putting that out of context. I don't believe in Brock Lesnar. Oh, oh, Vince McMahon. Oh. Vince McMahon, what does he want? I mean, I don't know what Vince McMahon's up to, but he just, he just like punished Braun Strowman by putting him out of the match, the war, the Universal Title match. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. I feel like Mr. McMahon. Oh my God, I remember the face to face with um Brock Lesnar and Vince McMahon. That happened nearly six years ago. No chance in hell! You got no chance! No chance in hell! So, so Finn Balor versus Brock Lesnar, I mean, I would suggest to you the only way anyone could believe in this is if they believe in the old story of uh, David and Goliath. Remember that one? <laughs> See? See? Did I call it? Did I call it? I said David and Goliath! Let me refresh you. Remember, one day, oh. we went out into the neighborhood, oh. ate every single mushroom we could possibly find, and then from there, thought I'm gonna go up and challenge that big nasty green giant. Oh. And he did. The Christian story! The oh my god, you're putting up the Christian reference. David, and he was never seen again until he was reincarnated. As Finn Balor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, now, no doubt, as you said before, Finn Balor, he was, he earned his opportunity to face Rock, and no doubt he does have fans. I feel like I but know this. Fans. This is like, I'm a, I'm a genius. Any fan anywhere in the world, much less here in Oak City. Uh... If any of your people here in Hillbilly Land actually believe... I believe in Finn Balor. Well, I don't believe in Brock. You're speaking too fast for them, Vince. I can hear Vince loud and clear, and Paul. Then, you don't you need to... If actually believe that uh, Finn can beat Brock, then you definitely all believe in fairy tales. <laughs> well, all I know that fairy tales are fake, and <laughs> <gasps> Oh, did I say Braun a few minutes ago? Whatever this is, this is not going to be pretty. It's not going to be pretty at all. You know, last Monday was the worst night of my life, thanks to Barry Corbin. Yeah, Barry he Corbin sucks. And he cost me my Universal Championship match for you. Yeah, I blame Barry. I blame Barry Corbin. But saying that, last Monday was the luckiest night in your life as well. So if you still have that Universal Championship after this Sunday, somehow, 
I'll be waiting on the other side. And I'm gonna rip you apart like another one of Mr. McMahon's limousines. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. He's still in play. Finn Balor. There's Finn Balor. We've been talking about Finn Balor like nonstop. We're all out here doing wrong things. He's the monster among men. Meanwhile, I'm the guy who beat three other people last week. Yes, which I believe in Finn Balor. I knew that Finn Balor was going to win. Either Finn or Cena. Well, yeah. Shut up, Heyman! Cena's the greatest of all times. Brock's the second. Thank you very much. Is it me? Or... Does Paul Heyman ever shut up? I know you don't believe that I can beat Brock. I don't believe in fairy tales. <laughs> but I believe. And the Father Club believes. Too sweet, baby. And at the Royal Rumble, I will defeat Brock Lesnar. And I will reclaim my Universal Championship. Exactly. The title you never lost. Oh, Finn, Finn, I know I could have beat Brock Lesnar. I don't know if you can, oh. but you damn well better. Oh, wow, now you're putting all of your money on Finn Balor? Hey, Braun, thanks for the support. I appreciate it, but um, really, next time, keep your nose out of my business because I'm going to ah. do something that you've never done, and that's beat Brock Lesnar. Oh, God! Here we go! Here we yeah, go. Vince, you got the, uh, the story a little bit mixed up. Yeah, I got, I think Wait, I got where's it. Brock going? Where's the... You coward! Brock's walking away! Yeah, that's right, you all gone. Vince, you got the story a little bit mixed up. You see, David, he stood in the shadow oh. of a giant. David and Goliath, you're doing it again! Now you stopped! <laughs> but they didn't know who David was. They didn't know what he was made of. And Goliath fell face down in the dirt. Boom! If I have a child, I would tell them the story of David and Goliath. No one. No one. No one was laughing then. Nope. Can I remember the full story? Okay, the moral of the story. I'm one of the Universal Champion. Has a seat right over here for ringside. You don't want to miss this one. Along with Mr. Heyman, he goes, let's have a real life David and Goliath story happen right now. What about it? Are you serious? I don't see this going to be. Very interesting. Oh. Let's get her done. The moral of the story of David and Goliath that all it takes is to be a giant is by strength and all the wisdom. Man, Finn Balor! Finn Balor's got Braun Strowman in that sleeper hold. Oh, shoot. What is Strowman gonna do? Oh. Oh, he's gonna- Oh! He's not stopping! He's not stopping! Oh, he's not stopping, dude. He's not stopping. Oh! 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 oh. Fowler! He's giving elbows! He's giving elbows to Strowman! Woo! The double strop to Strowman! Strowman's down and out! Oh, what's Finn Balor gonna do? What's Balor gonna do? Oh, Balor now. He's about to go up top. He's gonna. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? Whoa! Whoa! 
Did he just deliver a suplex to fi He just did. That was unacceptable. You wanna go? You wanna go? What if Braun Strowman enters in a Royal Rumble match? Because... I don't think what knows... I don't think we know what's next for Braun Strowman. <gasps> oh! Oh! Right to the steel post! That steel post, what did I say? Wait, is this a no disqualification match? I don't know. He just took out the beast! Brock Lesnar, he just took out Brock Lesnar! Wait, is this... Wait, how come they didn't... How come they didn't disqualify Braun Strowman if he gave him a suplex? The, I think a match is still going on. I'm still confused. How come... How come the match is still going on if, if, if Brock got involved, attacked Valor? Oh! He's not done, he's not done with the Beast! He's not done with Brock Lesnar! I am so excited for the Royal Rumble. I am definitely excited for the Royal Rumble match. This gets more intense. I saw Brock Strowman going out. Oh uh, no, you might want to get out. Oh, fail. <laughs> he was trying to get out of it. Oh. He was trying to get out of it, but. <laughs> that shoulder right in the steel post. Oh, dang. Look at Finn Balor. Oh. Here we go. The Kuda Gross. It connected. It has connected. Can he get a chance? Can Oh, now you want to... Oh. oh, no, Brock! 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 He just gave him an F5. He just gave him an F5. Oh. Why? 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 <laughs> 